good to meet you. Hi. Hey, I'm the editor of the Cedar Falls paper and the Waverly Papers. How are you? Very well, and you look very well bronzed and... It's the Sicilian in me. I light my cigarette at night, I get tan. <laughs> good, good. Can I just um, hop upstairs? Yeah, I can't get you on the roof, but I can go up. So I can take high you. and you get okay, a nice very shot. Well, very right. well, let's do it. You're not afraid of heights, right? No. You're supposed to look dangerous. That's right. Um, I started yesterday and I uh, was hoping to get most of it done today and then tomorrow finish up the final touches and stuff. But uh, you know, it rained early and it sprinkled a little bit earlier, so it's kind of like a little damp yet and these clouds are hanging around. And rain is good. Rain makes corn and corn makes whiskey, but it's not good for painting on a rooftop. So how, how long do you estimate it will take you to wrap it up? It's hard to say. Again, it's, if it wasn't raining, if it was perfect out, I'd finish up tomorrow. And what, uh, what are some of the other challenges? Uh, this particular roof or, you know, the incline? Or what, what are some of well, the challenges? Well, incline, I mean, I've painted hundreds of rooftops in every state in America. And my ankles are starting to give me a little notice that I'm getting old. Yeah. Walking sideways on these rooftops, but it's also the uh, these new architectural shingles are a lot thicker and layered, so there's a lot more elbow grease getting the paint into these crevices. But, uh, it also works to catch my shading really good. Like when you see it from a distance, it really fades nice. It's almost mosaic-like. Have you? Uh have people been pumping into you or some, some, some sort of acknowledgement of your All day. Here? Really? I came by this morning from the hotel and I came along this way. And right between that little spot where that little opening is between those trees, yeah. the blue just grabs you and pulls you in as you drive and you got no choice to, to see this. So once it's finished with all the bright reds and oranges and maroons and the stripes, it'll be like... What are you thinking as you're pushing that brush? Do you call this a brush or...? Roller. This? Okay, the roller. Okay. So what are you thinking as you're pushing this roller? Um, What's going through your mind? I just love what I do. I'm just... Uh, yesterday was super hot. Sometimes it's 130 degrees on a roof or on the side of a building. And a normal person would just pack it up, go down and get a cold beer. But I, I'm, this is my labor of love. I love my freedom. I'm an artist. I get to express myself as I choose because of the men and women underneath this roof. And Taylor Morris, who lost his limbs for my crazy ass. Crazy, sorry about that. I, I get passionate, and that's what it is. Up there and it's I love passionate people. So, so you're thinking they're applying the blue paint and thinking, I love my freedom, I love my freedom morning, every day, every just day. now. Bad days, good days, every day. Who, 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 am I, who, who am I to complain? Have you met T Taylor Morris in person? No, not yet. I'm looking forward to it. But I did, uh, I hung out with uh, Mark Latinsky. He's up in Minnesota and uh, I did a flag up there for him and presented it to him uh, set Sunday. And uh, we hung out all day at the VFW post. All day, all night. Guess how I got back to my hotel room? Whiskey and... He drove me. Oh, he drove you. Oh. He drove me. Sure, sure. Triple Amputee drove me home in his big Ford F pickup truck. It was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah, these guys are just awesome, awesome, awesome. I can't express it. So, this is my gift to them. You know. Which part is the hardest part to do? Is it the stars or is it the, the stripes? Well... I've done it so many times. If you see, I have sketch. I have to sketch it out, and that's a lot of math. This small sketch mark, you see. You know, it's got to look the way it's supposed to look. Yeah. Yeah. So that takes a, a lot of time, several hours to. You know, again, I have to measure everything, and, and then I use the shingles as guidelines and kind of my ruler. But the hard part is the actual getting the paint into the. You know, the rough the surface, shingles. You know. How many uh, pints or gallons of, of uh, uh, paint? Gallons of paint on this one, it'll probably be close to, including the primer, it's close to 30, 30 gallons. 
How long will it stay on the roof? Good 10 years. And if they decide down the road to put a clear coat on it, we'll give it some more life. What's the most exciting part about the, the, this job, this particular Everything. job? Everything? Every inch. Getting my paints, carrying them, mixing the paints, getting dirty, scraping my knuckles on the asphalt, getting, the, you know, every, every color has three different shades. It's nine colors I use. It's not just red, white, and blue. It's three shades of blue, as you can see. And that gives it the three-dimensional aspect of it. So once I do the plain blue, people are like, oh my God, it looks great. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I, you know, like, wait, wait till I stop putting it. You know, when you can see it curving in shadows and you can kind of crawl underneath those shadows. You know, that's when I, and then I get up here and I'll have a smoke. And I'll just take a look at it and say, all right, it looks good. It's coming, it's coming along. How many cigarettes does it take to build, to make one <laughs> To make the whole thing? I don't want to talk about that. It's, smoking's bad. <laughs> well, it just gives you perspective. It gives you a time yeah, to reflect yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. And then I get, I, I, I'm taking too much time. I'm taking too much time, I gotta get back to work. Yeah. I gotta get back to work. Yeah, get back, can I just hang out here as you hang out? No, I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, because I really wanna beat the rain. So, if you, the best shot is over along that fence there, because you got a good view and perspective. That's what I'm saying, if you're standing over there. Okay.